In this video, I'm going to show you a cool app called Drafts. I make the, uh, um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure probably a lot of you have heard of Drafts, maybe some of you haven't, but it's a really cool app, and what it does is when you open it, it just opens to a blank page for you to immediately start typing. Um, it works very well for just being able to quickly jot down notes. The app will always open to a blank page. Um, and you can just immediately start typing whatever whatever notes that you need to make down so if you're if you're in a meeting and you know somebody tells you oh you need to make sure and complete this request by Friday you can quickly type in there that you need to complete the request by Friday so complete purchase request by Friday and then close it move on you're done later in the meeting they tell you oh we need to schedule a follow-up meeting next Monday at 3 p.m. you open it back up and you hit the little new I, I did say that it would always but if let's say if we close this if we killed the app opened it back up and it would open back up to a blank page so I guess if you just minimize it, it still runs in the background and it'll open back up to whatever you were previously on. So, but either way, you can hit the, pl the, uh, the plus button. So if we were still at this menu, we can hit the plus button and just quickly get to a new page. And we can schedule, uh, we could say, uh, uh, <coughs> follow up meeting next Friday or next Monday at 3 p.m. Okay, and we're done. We close it, we go back out, and we continue our meeting. So one of the coolest things with drafts, though, is that when the meeting is over and you go back to your desk or if you're in class or whatever it might be, <clears throat> out with family and they just mention something that you want to remember, such as a birthday gift, or, uh, you know, they, uh, they are someone said that they liked this particular video game and you wanted to quickly remember that so that you could add it to a birthday list later, whatever, what have you. You open up the drafts when you get back home, slide it open and we're going to go to the first one complete purchase request by Friday and you can hit this little send to button and then here's all the apps that I have configured to send to so if complete purchase request by Friday that would be a task that I need to complete so I would you can send it to reminders or you can send it to OmniFocus if you have OmniFocus um, I'll send it to reminder and it, you can see there it tells me in the upper right reminder it's done and automatically cleared the screen so that I can go ahead and, and add new data if I need to. I can pop this over and I can go to my follow-up meeting and you can send this to your your uh, your calendar whatever if you have an app called Fantastical installed on your iPhone. It works perfectly with that and I will demonstrate that really quick to you guys with um, my iPhone alright let's drag this over here really quick and I'll show you guys the iPhone version Turn off mirroring on my iPad. All right. I hadn't thought to uh, to demonstrate the iPhone version of it, so wasn't really prepared. But let's go ahead and go into drafts here. Let's squeeze this down a little bit. All right. So, if I hit the little page icon here, you can see it synced those things that we just did. Follow up meeting next Friday, next Monday at 3 p.m. Complete purchase request by Friday. So, it syncs that stuff through iCloud. So it's already on my phone. I didn't have to do anything, which is really nice. So, typically, what I do is I'll go into these meetings or I'll go and go out and do uh, uh, field reviews or whatever. 
and I'll jot down the notes really quickly on my iPhone and then when I'm done and I get back to some place where I can sit down by myself I pick up the iPad I open it up and I start going through it and, and disseminating the the snippets to what apps I need them to go to one of the coolest features of this is that it sends it to an app called Fantastical and uh, Fantastical is an awesome app for uh, your calendar for creating really quick entries into your calendar so I put in here follow-up meeting next Monday at 3 p.m. and I want this to go on my work calendar so I'll do slash W for work and I will just hit parse in fantastical here it opens up fantastical and you can see it breaking all the information down follow-up meeting on the 18th of Monday from 3 to 4 p.m. I can hit show details and you can see the actual calendar event information here it broke everything down on my and added it to my work calendar now if I hit cancel discard this event and I went back to drafts and I changed this to just not have anything it will go to my default calendar which in this case would be my home calendar right there as you can see but it is really cool because you can be in meetings or whatever and you can quickly just type out what needs to happen and uh, on your phone get back to the, your desk or whatnot your iPad pick it up um, unfortunately fantastical is only available for the iPhone so I have to do my my meeting entries and stuff through the I with the iPhone but still it's not that big of an issue um, it's really quick and easy. It's a lot easier just to type it out while I'm in the meeting, put the phone down, and and keep going to the meeting rather than trying to go through the calendar app, add a new event, type in an event name, which I'm already doing here, S then scroll through and find the date, select the calendar, and all the stuff. I can type it out much quicker than I can actually enter the information into the calendar. So it, it this works. It's phenomenal. It works excellent. So Drafts is a really nice, really nice app. Um. So I'm going to close this off, and I'm going to show you, um, continue showing you it on the iPad. So, if you are done with the, um, with the. A draft you can just slide and delete them piece of cake now we're back to having a blank one one of the other cool things that it does is it does support markdown so if you wanted to create you know create notes it's like um, naturally like this Oh, good old autocorrect. Um, you can pop this open and you can tell it to markdown preview. Whoops, and I guess it doesn't support the same markdown that day one does. Another app that I use. So, but you can hit markdown preview. And it still has, I don't know what this is. I guess these have to be, there has to be a space between it. Hmm. Oh, I guess on this app that is a bullet point. Well, I'm not sure how you make it. I guess we could try doing this. Uh, HTML markdown. Pop this open. There we go. So. You can, uh, and, and if you wanted to, on top of that, we could always come over here to the front and we could make this a bullet point. Come down here and do the same, same thing. Um, but really, personally, I don't usually use this. Like, I've, obviously, you can tell I don't use the markdown feature and stuff because. If you've got the time to do the, all the fancy formatting, then you might as well just open up the app that you're going to send this to and do the formatting in that, which for me happens to be day one. Um, so, 
um, and and not all apps support mark this the same kind of markdown. I mean, HTML obviously does. So if you have some kind of an HTML idea that you want to work on, you could probably come in here and you could write down the HTML real quick, test it, take a look at it, and then close it, save it. It saves in the iCloud, and um, you're you're good to go. Um, and then you could always email it, email the draft to yourself when you're done. <coughs> So that when you're back on your computer, you can uh, you can implement that HTML or what have you into your work. But there are a lot of you can you can quickly type in a text message if you want to send later, but you don't you need to talk to somebody, but maybe they're sleeping and you don't want to forget it. Um, you know save it and uh, later on you know you could and, and then you can also on top of that you can say uh, uh, then, then you can use Siri to remind you to hey remind me to send my text message at uh, in an hour let Siri do the work for Here's you there Shall I create it? you can confirm okay. it have her remind you and then in an hour to remind you you can pop back open into here you can open this hey pop this open send it to messages type out whoever you need to and hit send so it's a, it's really cool you can save to Evernote you can save to Dropbox one of the really cool features too is the append to Dropbox which allows you to specify a file and then every time you hit append to Dropbox it will open that it'll append this text to the bottom of a to whatever file you have specified so you can have uh, at, the, at the beginning of the day you can create a daily journal file specify that with today's date or what have you and then throughout the day just make quick notes send a pin to Dropbox make a quick, quick note a pin to Dropbox at the end of the day you're gonna have a single daily journal file that has all your really quick notes inside of one file for you just in one place it's, so it's, it does a lot of things you can send tweets to Tweetbot or you can just tweet directly uh, or post to fa post to Facebook, send an email, blah blah blah, etc. One of the other cool things is it does support open in, so apps that support drafts, uh, uh, their the text file or whatever, you can open them in. And then underneath the share, you can do the traditional iOS sharing. You can adjust the fonts and whatnot. I'm not too sure what this link button does. Like I said, I I. I don't use I just use it strictly for taking extremely quick notes and saving it for later to deal with. So under manage actions though, we do have a ton of the the items that are in that share list are just what I have activated. But as you can see, there are a ton of other apps that this supports that it will send to. So I mean, you can send to um, the Twitter app, Echophone, Felix, Netbot, OmniFocus Notes, Things, Clear, uh Fantas parse and fantastical um, Obviously, I don't have the iPhone version of fantastical installed on my iPad, so I have it turned off um, But you can't have agenda app momento app notesies all these different apps that you can send this stuff to pay spot And what it looks like let's let's pick um, add to omni focus You can activate it and then after you've successfully sent it like say uh, when I created um on my iPhone, well, let's just do a, a reminder here. After success, because remember we sent a we sent a, a to do to our reminders earlier. After success, it automatically will create a new draft for us, a blank draft for us to use. We can tell it to do nothing, so that if we want to, the draft will remain presented on screen. But typically, when I send something to another app, I'm done with it. So I want a new draft, a blank draft created for me. But you can also just have it delete the draft. And I usually keep the drafts in the background. I delete them myself in the event that I need to go back and edit the draft and send it. Or if I've completed the task and I want to go back at the end of the day and look at all my drafts and, and build time to them or whatnot. You know, there, there, there's various reasons why I want to keep my drafts, but and I usually delete them at the end of the day. And uh, But then you get something like OmniFocus here where it, it knows that OmniFocus supports a title and maybe some notes or information so you can use the first line as the title 
and you can do the same thing with email you can use the first line as a title so we'll we'll select email here real quick first line as title um, and uh, the other thing too real quick is that you can you can arrange these however you want so it's very customizable before we get to the email another thing that you can do is email actions you can create a new one and uh, uh, action name you give it a name any email address that uh, is to and CC you can sub subject can be the first line of the draft or a predefined subject line you can send it as markdown HTML you can send it in the background um, and then whenever you this will basically see so we can say um, email Tom and we can put uh, Tom at blah blah dot com and we will always CC boss at blah blah dot com and we will use the first line of our draft as the subject line and uh, that's it I'm gonna hit save we're gonna go back we're gonna hit done so now check this out I can hit the share button and down here at the bottom is email Tom I can hit that button and immediately it opens up a new email message so uh, definitely very handy. Lastly, um, URL actions. I don't really use this because I don't have any use for them myself. But you can create a URL template. Um, so if you wanted to uh, submit a uh, uh, a link of some kind, where you, I don't know if it's a, from another app or what. I'm not 100% sure how this works. Some other people that might know what a UR, but the, how the URL action works, might uh, um, Dropbox actions. You can create a new Dropbox action, and this is where you can define the path in Dropbox. The file can be the first line or a predefined file, like how I was saying earlier. So you can have something called like a daily journal, um, or you can use the first line of the of the draft. The extension you can define the file extension if you want. You can create. Or pre append which will stick all of the, the will stick your new draft to the top of the file, or you can append which will stick it to the bottom of the file. And then you can see down here at the bottom there's a bunch of things that you can write inside of your draft. You can put, um, you can define. Okay, well each time that I send my draft, I want it to be time stamped, and it will time stamp exactly. Uh, it'll add a timestamp to that file on that line for where you added your where you appended or pre-appended your draft so you can see at exactly what time throughout the day that you created that journal entry or that file entry or what have you and then the cool thing is, is all these actions can be shared so you can hit the share button and you can share the actions to other people that you might know that might want a copy of that so very powerful um, <clears throat> and then there's the action directory um, which will open up Safari and take you to the action directory on their website where a bunch of people have created other actions. So, um, obviously it supports Facebook, Dropbox, Evernote, App.net. Um, it, it's a really, it's a, it's a, it's just a phenomenal app. It works great. It's, it excels at what it needs, to, at what it's designed to do, which is quickly accept input for you to do something with later which is why it's called drafts it's, you just freaking write a draft real quick and move on save it for later and then you know like I said when you get back to your office and whatnot you can open it up on the iPad or your iPhone and you can start sending each draft to the apps they need to go to one might need to go to pages so that you can finish writing a document one might need to go to OmniFocus so that you can create a, a note on, or a to-do one might need to go to the calendar so you can schedule your appointments whatnot so very very powerful app very very good it's uh i think it's like three dollars on the app store but you have to pay for both the iphone and the ipad version so but for what it does um it works it helps keep uh keeps uh, your head clear while you're out and busy and doing things you can just quickly write things down it's uh it's an excellent app so um if you guys like the video hit the like button and uh, it helps me out and then if you want you may follow me on twitter i am at scion west and i will catch you guys next time